Hello and welcome to all you Cancerians. Welcome for your monthly horoscope for December 2015. And uh, what is going on? I think for um, some Cancerians who've got planets between, between, uh, let's say, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 degrees, 18 degrees of uh, Cancer, you will feel the most what I'm going to explain now. If you don't have planets around that degrees, you will feel it in a more, a bit, um, it won't be that intense. So what is going on here? There is something going on that has been going on for a couple of months, from September actually, when there was the lunar eclipse in Aries. And um, that's your axis of, the, of home and family and work. Very important for a Cancerian, because Cancerian uh, normally is very interested in the family, in, in the roots and um, the home life, to be balanced there, to be emotionally stable. Now, um, with that lunar eclipse at the very end of September, there has been come things to, to the surface when it considers those two areas. And on the 12th of October, it was followed by a new moon in Libra, which is the work environment. And there were things that came to the surface because Pluto and Uranus have aspected uh, Mercury, Venus, and now Mars in your fourth house. Now, what is this all about? Well, it's about the truth and it's about Mars is our drive. So Mars and our, your drive is now at your home area. Well, it's, it's for a lot of people, they celebrate Christmas and they have a lot of family coming over and so on. So there is probably some concerns for some Cancerians amongst you when it comes to your home, your family, your roots, your identity, the deep core of you as a Cancerian. Mars is in your fourth house. Now, this is a tricky one. When is it a tricky one? If you're not aware of it. So I try to give you some awareness here so you can, you know, um, you can uh, get along with this energy a bit better. Now, Mars is here in your fourth house. Mars wants to stand up for itself. Okay, even in Libra. It wants to stand up for itself. It wants to say, hey, this is what I want. This is what I desire. Mars is our desires. It's our drive. And when it's connected to Pluto and Uranus, which will happen around the first two weeks of the month, actually. So it's not around the Christmas time and so on, but it's happening in the first two weeks of the month. There is this um, energy uh, brewing that wants to show who it really is. And that can be, a, that doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. It, but it's about truth. It's about your truth. And if, if you are a Cancerian, that has been building up for weeks, for months, maybe for years, how longer, how worse it will get, uh, building up towards standing up for yourself when it comes to your family, your home environment, maybe for some of you, even your work environment, when you have been building up and building up and building up and you haven't shown your real Mars, your, what you really, really want, it's going to burst in some, some kind of way. And it has to, because things need to be known to the surface that you've been hiding under the carpet. It's not possible anymore now because you feel very frustrated. For some of you, it won't be that dramatic. Um, actually, for most of you, it won't be that dramatic, but it shows that it's a good time to assert yourself um, and, and to draw a bit the lines, to redraw the lines when it comes to family members, when it comes to work as well, work environment. So if you've not have been speaking your truth in the in, lately, this is now an opportunity to correct it. If you have been speaking your truth, if you say, well, Vila, I'm, yeah, I'm doing fine and I, I know what I want and I express that to other people even better, then it simply shows that you are going to get the rewards of that. So it's, it's impossible to say it's going to be a good thing, going to be a bad thing. I mean, it's how you deal with it. And uh, so this is really truthful energy. A fixed star called Kras, K-R-A-Z, is involved as well. And this fixed star is again about passion, about your drive, about focusing actually. So take your time to think about what it is that you want to redraw the lines and try to do it in an assertive way, which is not aggressive, which is not submissive. It's 
Very simple, without a lot of drama. Having said that, there's also other stuff going on. Really nice stuff for you, Cancerians. Throughout the whole month, you've got Venus in Scorpio in your fifth house and Venus making... Although they say Venus in Scorpio is not good, that's rubbish. That's not because I have Venus in Scorpio. I do have Venus in Scorpio, but that's rubbish because they put it out of the context. So the Venus in Scorpio is a bit uh, unusual when it comes to love. It's a bit alternative because it loves so deep, it values so deep, and yes, it can become self-destructive. But now it's aspecting. Uh, it, it's uh, full of good aspects now. It's aspecting Neptune in a trine. It's aspect which is good for romance, especially in the fifth house. Ooh, for you, Cancerians who are single, there is a huge love coming here if you're open to it. Um, if you're in a relationship, very, very good to spice up your love life, you could say, to do enjoyable things, do the things that you enjoy. And with Scorpio, it can be intimacy, it can be sex it can be um but it can also be doing things you and someone else together and in a very private way that's also the scorpio way um so it's also good aspect with jupiter in a sextile a sextile with pluto as well so venus is having plenty of good aspects during the fifth house so while the, whilst there is a bit stress going on with home with family maybe or a family member or with work there is this nice energy going on with you. And even if you say there's I'm, there's no one in my life, I'm single, enjoy yourself to say the least. Go to the cinema, go to the theater, go to, go to a, a fine, nice restaurant, go out. Because you've got so many good aspects here it, towards your fifth house of enjoying yourself. This is good news for a Cancerian. This is good news. Um, it, it, I, I haven't seen... A lot of these good Venus aspects for a long time. So you are able to enjoy on a very, very deep level. And for those who are now encountering someone, this can be a very deep connection, a very deep and, and long lasting, you know, longer than a week. <laughs> uh, a serious relationship, an intense one as well, with a lot of meaning, with a lot of value there. So uh, if you have children, it's a nice time to be amongst your children. That's also the fifth house. If you're having a new creative project, maybe launching something new, a new project, uh, whether it is artistic or whether it is your own business, it's so good because you're so inspired. You're so If you're having your own business, you're very inspired as well. So that's also very, very good. Having said that, Venus is also together with the asteroid who know or you know, I don't know how to uh, pronounce it, but this means commitment, fairness, again, fairness, commitment in romance, fairness, commitment in, in with children, fairness, commitment, commitment with your projects that you're doing, your hobbies even that you're doing. So um, I hope uh, this was helpful for you. I hope you have a good time, you dear Cancer. And so... Uh, Actually, I think, is it in, yes, on the Christmas, uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, the moon is in Cancer. Is it Christmas Day? Hang on there, hang on there. Yes, um, it's, uh, the moon is in your sign. So that's, uh, that's good, that's good. So even though there might be some tension there, you'll do fine. And um, I wish you all the best and thanks for watching. If you want to get in touch for a personal reading, which is so much more in detail, get in touch. Thank you and see you next month. Bye-bye.